my hair is getting so long but that's not the only thing that's long if you didn't know circuit breaker is extending so it kind of seems like it's circuit breaker 2 circuit breaker the extended cut circuit breaker director's edition anyways last time we talked about christian essentials right now we have to move from what we need to do to practical steps in living as a Christian in these unprecedented times. So buckle up, we are gonna dive into the armor of God. Buckle up, Teddy. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Today, we're gonna talk about the belt of truth. None of you might be wondering what a belt is, but belts are used to protect us from car accidents, but also to protect others from our privates. I'm sure we don't want to be caught with our pants down. Get it? Come on, I know I've been off this for like three weeks already, but cut me some slack. Now we talked about belt. What does truth mean? Truth is basically the reality and honesty of things in relation to God and us as mankind, specifically what we are created and designed to be. And it is the opposite of lies, falsehood, and deceit. So we all heard of the phrase, the truth has set me free. Yeah, yeah, throwback to the previous video. It might sound quite conflicting or ironic because um, even though it says the truth will set us free, but here we are called to fasten on the belt of truth, which is something that restricts us. God's idea of freedom is very, very different from man's idea of freedom. The laws are actually made for the unlawful to keep them at bay. However, we as Christians, or rather, we as God's people who live in the truth, who live in the freedom of God, can enjoy everything that He has planned for us, much like Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Wearing the belt of truth in today's context basically means to fasten ourselves with the knowledge of truth. Truth that will protect us from the enemy, but also protect us from getting caught with our hands down. Truth also sets us free to roam around in God's state of freedom. I want to pose to you guys a question. In this time of coronavirus, are we fastening ourselves to truth or to lies? When idleness, laziness and depression is crouching at our door, <laughs> literally someone comes in. <laughs> what truths do we have in our inventory to help us in this time to remind ourselves of the truth and to walk in that freedom rather than to live in lies and sin. Hope that in this time of uh, coronavirus, in this time of uh, uncertainty, that you guys will continue to stay strong in your faith. Bye-bye.